Hello. <laughs> I'm back again. This is Sher from Sher and Charlie's Personal Crafts. And I'd like to say first, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I was trying to think of the name of, hang on, the other the subscriber I just recently got and better. And um, I think it's an Anastasia. Anesthesian or something like that, but Anesthesian Queen. So I do recognize you and I thank you very much for watching and for subscribing to my channel. Uh, this is going to be kind of a special or different type of video tonight. Um, I had been thinking about it and thinking about it, but before I get started on it, I have my notes here. I wanted to tell you I went to my cancer appointment today and my lymph nodes and everything are stable, which is a miracle. Everything looks good. As far as there was one that's off, but it's supposed to be off because of the idea that I do have cancer, So, but it looks good. Everything is stable. Everything is normal. So the chemo pill is doing its job and as far as some side effects, I told them I'd rather deal with them than everything going haywire again. So with that being said, I am so happy today. I am not in pain. This, excuse me, my pain patch is doing the job. It's a lidocaine patch. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's doing the job and to be free of pain is like, it's like heaven. <laughs> um, so, okay, getting to, um, getting to the reason I'm on here is because I decided uh, I wanted to do a video strictly on the, the crafts that I am most proud of, that I've done all year long. And uh, I mean, I've done a lot of crafts, but I wanted to bring it back to your attention to kind of remind you guys of some of the things that I've done because sometimes you forget and uh, I looked around and I look at them and I'm like wow I can't believe I did that and I'm proud of them so I wanted to show them to you again and give you a quick outline of how I did them and uh, there's at the very end I hope I remember I want to show you something that I accidentally came upon just doing my little crafting things. Like I'll do crafting things and suddenly I end up with something. I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? So I'll show you that in the end and also a little surprise in the end. Haven't hit 300 yet, but I'm hoping and I'm gathering things for the 300 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I think we have a little fun here. I'm a little woohoo sometimes, but I think you'll enjoy that. And my drink is, once again, I wish I'd get, I wish Dunkin' Donut was, uh, what do you call that when you do an advertisement for them, compensating me, but they're not. Uh, I love this strawberry infusion drink. I got it on the way to the doctor. I still have it, it's a large. But this one was a little off. I asked him, I said, even the color. I said, are you sure that's strawberry? He said, yeah. I said, well, it has a little bit of a nice tea taste. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, let's get started. Cheers. Okay. I have some beautiful candles lit, vanilla. And my daughter, Tiffany, bought me bubbly rose. I normally stick with vanilla or pine but uh, this candle's great. So I'm gonna do the, the ones that were, uh, I'm, I'm proud of them, but they were very simple to make. The first one is this, I really love this. Now, this is a Dollar Tree. I think it's cracked, oh no, that's those are needles. It's not cracked. They're my little sewing needles. But as you see, it's glass inside, and it looks like, uh, what do you call this stuff? Hold on. I tried to look it up, but unfortunately, it's like a plaster or it has an imitation look of some sort of, um, I can't think of the name of it, but you guys know what I mean. If you get a good look, those are specs from paint. 
I painted this and if you would like to know the technique you can go back and look on my channel or go to Tina Lee's channel she's a young girl just just moved to California and she taught me how to make this on her channel it is a bacon soda it's a bacon soda paint um I wrote some notes down and it, you take the color paint you want and you add a tablespoon or a little more till it's nice and thick and paint it on it's better to use this color because it makes it look like that plaster or I, I can't think of the name of it eventually it'll come to me but then I used a toothbrush and sprinkled some other colors paint just dotted on there to make it more authentic looking and it's been it's been holding out great it, I love it and I wish I could think of it um, it's kind of it's not plaster it's something else you guys can let me know in the comments but I really love this I'm going to put a little plant in here I have some plant dirt now I got from Dollar Tree today okay this one not a big deal this is called floating heart do you guys remember me doing this all I did was take uh, red buttons that one of my subscribers sent me I believe Donna or Angela and I took all the red and the purplish colored pink pink and purple buttons and made a heart. It's very simple and I have it out now. I put it out on Valentine's Day. I made it last year. This is called Floating Heart Dollar Tree Glass. I had to put it, one of the buttons fell off so I had to put another button on so there's some glue. Very simple, very plain, but I, I really like it. Okay, next, I just made this, so you guys didn't see me make it, but I'm just adding it, because at first, I well, I used the tumbling blocks. This is all tumbling blocks, okay? I made a little window here. I put fake curtains, I painted them on there. At first, I hated this, and I'll sh stop it. And it's running. This is what it says, Grandmom Cheryl's house. I used a gold paint on here and I really hated it. It's supposed to be for, to put a candle in. I gotta make sure we run it because I've lost a lot of video that way. And this comes off and if you look inside, they're all the Django blocks. It took me like two days to make it. I made like tons of mistakes. I love the little window with the curtains, but you know what, I put it out Put it beside my hearts and everything at valentine's day and it actually looks kind of cute i got my little door i wished i had left an opening here for the door because i have to turn it to the side to get the light from the candle i can put it usually i put artificial candles in here but i just thought i would show you that before i go on i'd like to show you my beautiful shirt that radha sent me remember you guys it has like a heart, uh, like the graph that they use to check your heart and a heart in my little doggy paw. I love it. And she, and she knows I love pink and white. So thank you, Radha and Rion. And yesterday was Rion's birthday. Happy birthday, little angel. Uh, I definitely want to send you something else. I'm sorry that I didn't know it was your birthday, but nevertheless, I'm thrilled and I have my scarf that someone, one of my subscribers gave me this last year. Is it Radha? Anyway, if it's not Radha, whoever you are, I love you. Okay, next, I really love this. I'm, the more I get closer to the end, you'll see my favorite one. Now, you may not like it. This is a tray that I put on my uh, I wish I had a real coffee table, but I don't. It's uh, all made with Dollar Tree items except for these glass uh, knobs. I got these in Michaels and they were on sale, two for $5, they were in a package. Um, it kind of looks kind of French. I'll tell you what, it's solid, look. It's not going anywhere. And I put this out, I, I wanted this, I bought this paper this is a picture frame Dollar Tree. Then I cut out this paper card stock that I got in Michaels because I thought it looked like the snow, the glistening snow. 
and I think it has like a French look with these. I found these, couldn't find really what I wanted. I wanted more of a handle type, but I saw these and thought maybe. So it's kind of, you know, different. I'm an eccentric person in a way. So I like different kinds of art. And so this is my little snow table tray. I put candles on here and I put little baby Christmas bowls and it really, it really looks pretty. So this is one of, one of my favorites. Okay, next, this is not only one of my favorites, but it was one of the most difficult crafts I have done. Um, I did not make this, I don't believe. I think I showed you like little sections of when I was making it. This is a candle holder and it's made with all four Dollar Tree. I tried to clean it off before I brought it out. Four Dollar Tree uh, frames. This is the glass. So I needed four glass out of the four Dollar Tree frames. As I, and then I glued them together and on an angle. Can you see how I had to do it on an angle? And that was the hardest thing. And yes, I did get cut pretty bad. And being on this chemo pill, it was a cut. Like I had to stop for like the rest of the night, but it was worth it. It was hard work, but you have to glue the sections together. And then it was so dangerous on the sides because of the the glass showing and uh, I also used E6000 it's a tough craft if you want to make it but so I ended up putting some beading on here and colored the beads with the antique paint well it's I forget I think it's the truffle added a little beading some gems in here to keep it from I didn't want anything to cut like if you picked it up the bottom is all sparkle and I put some of the uh, Django blocks on the bottom to give it a little bit of a lift. But let me tell you, I'm going to show you what it looks like with a candle. Okay, this is what it looks like with a candle. And you really can't appreciate it unless you're here. <laughs> but everything just sparkles. It's so beautiful. It really is. It had with the glass. And it's solid, you see I'm picking it up, it's not breaking. So the bottom I made with Django blocks and I'll show you in a second. Okay, I had to blow out the candle in order to take it out of the holder. The bottom is made with Django blocks and I tried to put paint little birds in here but it didn't work out. So I just put some uh, sparkle in there but these are all the Django blocks. That's what I used as a base. And then, you know, I don't know why I put that there. It's not so pretty, but this I was really proud of because of determination. I was determined to make it and I layered it all kinds of beading to keep all the sharp edges. I had it in my mind and how I wanted to do it and it wasn't working out, but I didn't give up. So I really love this one. And that was a candle holder. Okay. Next is one of my paintings. Would you like to see a picture of me? That was me with my first, wait a minute, my fourth grandchild, Christian. Oh my God, he's my heart and soul. I baby, there's a lot of glare. I babysat him a lot. Um, he is now 14 and I babysat him a lot before I went to work. He's like, he's like my, my fourth child really so keep that picture there okay so I'm not a painter and I kept telling you guys I'm not a painter but I wanted to add more crafts and different things to my channel so I thought okay I don't paint but why not give it a shot and I'm telling you I never painted anything in my life I never thought I had an artistic quality bone in my body I only started crafting three years ago I love this painting, it's called The Garden. And uh, I'm sorry about the glare, but let me move it around so you can see it. I love this. Uh, this was the sec, I believe second, don't hold it to me, painting that I did. I'm gonna show you the first one I ever did, right in front of you on camera. 
I did this on camera and my first one I'm going to show you because my two last things I'm going to show you uh, actually three so that was I really love this painting so this is called the garden and it hangs in my kitchen I was very proud of this <laughs> I don't know why I just never paint it but sometimes you've got to dig inside yourself and give it a shot and uh, you realize you can do things you just didn't know all your life that you could do so okay now I think you guys know my next one okay uh, this is one of my favorites that I have just did about three four weeks ago called the uh, heart bouquet bouquet of hearts I love it I think it's gorgeous beautiful I put my heart into it I made all the hearts handmade and of course I had the box so hard bouquet if you'd like to see how I made this okay next this is probably up there with my all-time I think it is my favorite if you guys would like to learn how I, I made this it's a tray I bought for five dollars in Dollar General and this is called my memory tray I got the idea uh, I was Mod Podging a lot of stuff and I loved the Mod Podge and I was learning a lot about it and I thought hey I wonder I had this tray and I didn't know really what I wanted to do with it and so I got the, the thinking most of the time you guys have all these beautiful cards that you receive from your family your friends your loved ones but you can only keep them so long and you don't want to get rid of them you don't want to throw them away but for some reason um i like i cherish things like that special cards words that people say so i got the idea to take a, a cut some of the cards little words phrases flowers that I really love from the card and Mod Podge them onto this tray and I and my, know my children will never throw it away because if something happens to me I know they're going to throw my cards away uh, like what are they going to do with them you know they don't know that I cherish them but this way they will know I really cherish these cards so I'm going to show you this in the front um, and then I'm going to show you it uh, face forward so you can read some of the things and I decided I'm going to put them on the back and it's all Mod Podge like this is all smooth shiny so let me show you the front this is all-time favorite so I'm telling you you can do this with Mod Podge and anything a tray a picture frame um, any kind of wood you can make this just with Mod Podge I'm going to give you a front view and some of you are probably going to notice your cards all right let me get it stable there's a little saying from my daughter this is i believe a little saying from i can't oh that's sideways okay there's angela that's my friend angela and I take pieces of the card. That's a grandmom card. Uh, this is from, I believe, this is a subscriber. It's probably Radha. Oh, no, that's not Radha. That's one of my subscribers. This is Radha's writing up in here. She knows. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? And little phrases. And let me show you the back. This is the back. This is from Rosemary, from Rosemary You Rock Art. This is from Life with Mike, one of my favorite guys. Watch his channel, he's a dear, dear friend. He does the prayers, he has his son, uh, and he does Taste Test, I believe it's Taste Test Tuesday, I'm not sure if it's Tuesday, but he does a Taste Test channel, Logan, he's a doll. Uh, let's see, who's this, that's Rosemary. Here's a letter I got from my nephew, who I adore. Okay, you get the, there's Griff. Okay, you get the, you get the gist of it. 
and you can lay things on here. Just, I, I do put like a, um, um, you know, like I don't lay it water right on there, but trust me, it's really strong and nothing's going, there isn't anything that's going to ruin it. So this is what my, I think my all time favorite. Yeah, this, I'm very, very proud of this. I love it and there's still room where I can add more uh, Jenny, my friend Elaine. I can add more cards on here. I just gotta fit them in. But this is called my memory tray. If you'd like to see how I made it, you can go back into my videos and it'll show you how I made it. So much fun to make. You pick out your cards. It, the hardest part is figuring out what cards you want to cut up because it's hard. It's a hard decision, but I know one thing, my kids aren't going to throw them away. Okay, now I'm going to get to the last. Okay, guys, I got to make this fast because I just realized I have to do something. I'm sorry. This was one of my favorite. Very, to me, I don't know. I told you I was going to make something crazy and I did. I'm a 50s girl. I was born in the 50s and I tried to make it vintage looking. Love is being born in the 50s, made, painted the milkshake. And then this part here is a bag I cut up from Dollar General. And then I added this checked, uh, I don't know, checked <laughs> border around it. And I just love it. It's on my wall. And I'm, you may not like it, but I absolutely love it. I bought a really good frame for it because I love the 50s. I think that was a really great time. Okay, now you're gonna see one of my all time first paintings I ever painted in my life. Here it is. Yes, if you, there's Charlie. This was the first painting, this is a picture of Charlie, that I ever did in my life. And honestly, you can check, I did this on camera. I did a video, I just said I'm gonna go for it, and I saw a picture of him sitting on Santa's lap that I kind of based it on, it's a real tiny picture, but I said I, I wanna do this. now. What does this painting represent besides the love of my life? Up here are clouds. And I have one, two, four crosses. One for my mother and my father, my husband that died, and my grandma. So they're up watching over me in heaven. And then these little hearts, they come down to my six grandchildren. The little uh, stick figures are my grandchildren and the hearts are hovering over them. And this is my favorite uh, flower to paint, a poinsettia. And I've been doing poinsettias all my life and I didn't know why until it hit me one day. My mother died at Christmas, which is all know, December 11th, 1960. I was five years old. And ever since I was a little girl, I've been painting poinsettias and now I realize why. So, that's it. Okay, be back one second. Two things before I sign off. So I'm the kind of person that will start, have a small idea about a craft and it turns into something totally different. That happens to me a lot. Sometimes it works out and other times I end up going on some tangent somewhere and it's totally different from where my mind started. So I've been cutting out hearts with cardboard and taking paper, really beautiful paper. Uh, Angela Price sent me some two, three books, three books of all this different uh, arts and crafts paper. And so I started cutting some of it out and Mod Podging it onto these hearts. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? I don't wanna do any more heart bouquets, I'm over it. So here's what we came up with. I'm gonna keep making hearts, and I hot glued them together, and I'm gonna make it really big, and I decided I'm just gonna make it like a, like an art piece, uh, and hang it on my wall for Valentine's, and then take it down. 
but I'm, I'm gonna make more hearts. I wasn't quite sure, where are you going with these hearts? But they got all different textures, colors from the paper that Angela sent me. It's kind of wild, but uh, I'm gonna keep going with it to make it a little bit bigger, maybe like this, and hang it on my wall. Just take some string or rope or whatever and make it an art piece for Valentine's Day. So, you know, you just sometimes you don't know what you're gonna do and all of a sudden you run into an idea and bam. So I gotta go do something, but before I do, hang on. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. There's me and my baby. Uh, please hit subscribe if you like this channel. Thank you for watching. I love you guys with all my heart. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, there's me when I on my channel when I did that picture with the flowers. This Cantastic made me, and I love it. Sharon Charlie's personal crafts. But I have one more surprise for you. There he is. Look who's here. Look who's here. My ba favorite baby boy in the world. Charlie. Charlie, look at Grandma. Say hi to everybody. Charlie's here with me till Saturday. My daughter's camping. And I am thrilled. He keeps me going. Tom babysat him today for three hours when I had to go to the doctor. And I'm really happy. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll pray for you. Please pray for me. God bless.